battle. The army would soon return to campaigning and eventually capture the key city of Kars. Another kingdom saw the weaknesses of the Islamic Caucasus emirs, and the Ayyubid Sultanate of Egypt took over eastern Anatolia and created a border with Georgia. The Georgian response was to besiege the Ayyubid fort of Allah in 1209 and contest the Ayyubid control over the Armenian lands. The siege was met by a massive Ayyubid army that would meet the besiegers outside of Fort Alat. Then a Georgian commander named Ivan was captured by the Ayyubids outside the fort, and this would force Georgia into negotiation. The Ayyubid Sultanate would agree to return Ivan, but only if Georgia would agree to split the Armenian lands with them and hold a truce with them that would last for the next 30 years. After some deliberation, Tamar agreed to this and secured her southern border for the next three decades. A pretty good deal. This conquest had only just begun, as her generals continued conquering lands in Iran, as well as coastal territories on both the Caspian and Black Seas, reaching as far as the Crimean Peninsula in the west and to the Baku Peninsula in the east. This is the largest the Georgian kingdom would ever be, and now it was an empire, with Tamar as the empress.